Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of February 2023. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out in the monthly format. Let's see what's going on for Sag. We will start off with your overall energy and move on to the week by week. <laughs> Your overall energy is the Queen of Cups in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It could be that this is a person external to you who will be playing a big part in your month of February, or it could be you embodying the energies of the Queen of Cups in the upright position, showing great emotional maturity and the ability to process emotions in a very steady way. For others of you, this could be representing seeking out counsel from the Queen of Cups. She can represent a doctor, um, a counselor, a psychologist, or somebody that you could be talking to about emotional matters. Or it could be a very emotional month for you, Sagittarius. In week one, we have the um, Seven of Swords reversed, rooted down by the King of Pentacles in the upright. Seven of Swords reversed indicates that we're no longer avoiding dealing with something. The Seven of Swords in the upright is somebody who just wants to dip out and not deal with a person, a situation, or what have you. It's just not there yet, not ready to deal with it. When the card is inverted, however, this is where we're finally just about to bite the bullet and just deal with it. Just, you know, deal with it head on. So... That could be the situation for some of you. For others of you, the Seven of Swords can represent that little scoundrel who's trying to, you know, steal your ideas, uh, steal your property. And so for just being very, very sketchy, when the card is reversed, it can indicate that, um, you know, they're being caught and they're being called out. Now, it's rooted down here with the King of Pentacles in the upright position, which is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The King of Pentacles can also represent someone in the field of finances, such as a financial advisor, a banker, uh, owner of a small business. It can be... <clears throat> a real estate agent, or things that, anyone that deals with the tangible things in life. So it could be for some of you, you're no longer avoiding dealing with a financial matter that perhaps you need to call in a real estate agent, a financial advisor, or a banker for, or perhaps approach uh, someone who's a, who's a business owner maybe for a job or something like that. So we've got that going on in week one. In week two, we have the beautiful Two of Cups rooted down by the King of Cups in the upright position. So Two of Cups is about that a very uh, beautiful connection that we can have with another. It can indicate perhaps some of you. This could be the King of Pentacles in the upright uh, for some of you, perhaps this is a love interest. This could be somebody new that you've met or it could be an existing uh, love relationship that perhaps is going to a new emotional level it, with the Two of Cups here. The Two of Cups represents that sort of heart connection or being on the same page. It could be being on the same page with our partner. Um, it can be making plans with, if you're, this is your spouse or your partner, maybe you're making plans with them and um, you're both on the same page about how things are going to unfold. This can be meeting somebody new who feels like they're your other half. It could be like that twin flame or soulmate type of energy where it feels like, I know, even though they're brand new, it feels like, I know you, you are of my heart, you are of my mind, we're of one mind, we're of one heart. <clears throat> could be having a great conversation with somebody who you're really, really on the same page with on an emotional front. Could be this King of Cups in the upright position. King of Cups is the counterpart to the Queen of Cups, which is kind of significant in a reading because whenever you have the royal couple here in the reading, this is about um, people staying together. So it could be some of you are seeking counsel in order to stay with your partner. Maybe you're having problems with your partner and you're seeking counsel so that you can stay together. Both the King and Queen of Cups have in common is emotional maturity and ability to process emotions in a mature way. So for some of you, you know, the, the King of Pentacles could be the love interest. For others of you, it could be the King of Cups is love interest. And, and if you are having problems 
because it looks like, you know, the you guys will find a resolve for it with the king and queen both being there. For others of you, perhaps you're trying to counsel or help uh, another couple it could be your parents or somebody else who are having difficulties and perhaps you're tr kind of being the mediator here <laughs> in week three we have major account of the world rooted down by the page of pentacles in the upright the world is is what i call my graduation card this is about graduating from something or changing up your world because something has changed in a major way so say for example you've been single for many years and now you and your partner have decided to make it official maybe you're going to move in together or perhaps you're going to get married and this is about you know a lot of years being single and now boom all of a sudden i'm going to be living a different life as a married person same could be the other way. Sometimes it's like long-standing relationships that have been around forever could be coming to an end in order to open the door to something new. Um, it can be long-standing career that we're finally retiring from or we're closing out that career altogether and trying something different. Some of you are going to be taking a course or maybe going back to school with the Page of Pentacles here uh, in order to change your world. Or it could be that a child has graduated maybe they've gotten some type of um <clears throat> of scholarship or something like that or perhaps a child or grandchild in your life is changing their lives and as a result of it yours is changing as well so remember well first of all it's pentacles so again it's like the king of pentacles this is uh earth energy taurus virgo capricorn sun moon arising so it could be an earth sign or it could just be some you know representing a younger person as pages do represent this is news or message coming your way now this could be about you yourself sagittarius maybe you have an opportunity to learn something new which will close out the existing career and bring you into a new field for others of you like i said it could be a child or a family member or something like that that's changing but as a result of that it's changing your world like say for example the child lives with you and you live in this particular place so that the child can go to school and everything maybe they're going off to college or they're moving somewhere else to study and now you can sell your home or you know move to somewhere else because you don't need to stay in that location anymore last week we have major arcana the lovers in the upright with the king of swords upright you have three of the four kings in your reading you have the king of pentacles king of cups and now the king of swords which is air energy gemini libra aquarius sun moon arising and the, the lovers is uh, gemini energy but this is all about needing to make a decision when it comes to love we can choose to love we can choose not to love we can choose to back away from a relationship we can choose to move forward into a relationship we can choose to end it or you know we have a lot of choices remember because we do have free will so the choice is always going to be yours when it comes to relationships and what you do with them so it could be for some of you there is a big love decision coming up However, because there are several kings here, so maybe there are a few different people on offer for you, but you have to make a decision. But for others of you, this is about choosing about a new a new path in life, right? We do see the, the world card here, that which is pretty significant. I mean, closing out a cycle, but what do I do next? Maybe there's two offers here, two companies are, are interested in you, or uh, two different business partners. Maybe you're going to go into business with somebody else. So there's a major choice to be made here. But the good news is the King of Swords being here, the air energy is really good because the king of swords is someone who shoots from the hip doesn't mince their words they also um you know they're interested in logic and the whole truth and nothing but the truth and they leave emotion out of it so this is a practical person who makes good decisions with a clear head so this could be uh, you embodying the energies of the king of swords and just being very clear about the decision or thinking very clearly on this decision i hate to leave you with a cliffhanger here but looks like it will be uh, matters will get settled pretty quickly even if it's uh, legal matters it looks like you know there could be a choice on that front as well a legal situation but you will have clarity king of swords can represent a, a police officer they can represent a lawyer a judge or someone in the military or a surgeon so 
take your pick. Remember, these are just general reads, so it's going to be different for everyone. Just let us know in the comment section below if this resonated for you, and do tell us how so. In the meantime, in closing, looks like a pretty intense uh, <laughs> intense month for you. I can't wait to hear from you. <laughs> so, in closing, I always include two cards from the Zodiac deck. One is for love and romance, and the second for career and finance. So we'll see for love and romance what's going on for Sag. We've got uh, Taurus, number two, practicalities. So we do see Taurus right off the hop here. It could be that uh, something significant happens. Maybe the love interest is Taurus, or it could be someone that you meet through a Taurus, or something significant could happen in your love life on the 2nd of February, or when the moon is in Taurus. And in closing, the other card will be about career and finance for, for Sag, career and finance in the month of February for Sagittarius. We have Capricorn, number 10, status. So again, there is earth energy in this uh, reading with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So it could be something happens with, um, uh, you know, with a, a Taurus or sorry, a Capricorn. It could be when the moon's in Capricorn for sure. Um, or maybe your new business partner or somebody puts you in touch with someone that can help your career or finances with the sign of Capricorn. That's what I have for you. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Take care. Have a wonderful month of February. Bye-bye for now.